okay. What, what I want to get into now is, is the lease option because it's one that has no license requirements, two is probably the simplest uh, one to, to explain as well. Uh, lease option is actually incredibly simple. Uh, it's basically two, two documents. So the, the first one on the left here we've got is a standard residential lease. So if you've ever signed a lease or if you're a landlord, this is the standard residential lease that we use, the same one that you'd get if you went down to the local uh, real estate agent down the road um, and basically where you, you pay some money and you get to live in a property. Uh, that's, that's all we use that for. The only difference with a lease option is we have this one piece of paper over here called an option agreement that gives that, that person the right to purchase that property down the track for a for a certain uh, certain price, so it might be they've got the right to purchase a property for three hundred thousand uh, dollars for the next three years. So very similar to options on the stock market, except we're using it with with real estate. So basically, the way a lease option works is you've got a one a standard residential lease, and then another bit of paper that gives you the option uh, to purchase that property. All right, what I want to cover here um, is is a lease option. This is actually one of the first lease options I ever did, and um, it's uh, it's in Cranbourne in, in Victoria. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's about 45 k's sort of southeast of the city. Um, this is a strategy that does it does work in every um, every state, and you can you can do it in any sort of location. I just find the easiest place to do is usually the first homeowner sort of suburbs, but it does you know it works in the country. It works. Um, you know, in mining areas, it works in, in every single state. So um, that's probably one of the most common questions I have, and it is something that does work in, in every state because uh, option agreements are so um, are sort of Australia wide. Now, what I want to get into uh, is just to show you guys a little bit about selling on a lease option before I get into how I actually buy using a, a lease option. Um, as as I said before, rent, when you're selling with the lease option, you're basically renting the property out to someone, but you're also giving them the opportunity to purchase that property from you down the track. Uh, and, and one of the, the really good things that's it's sort of kept me doing this, I've been doing this for nearly uh, 10 years now, and what has kept me doing this for so long is that um, this is a genuine way for you to help out families who are locked out of the banking system. Um, at any one time in Australia, there's roughly about 35% of the population who can't get uh, traditional finance. It might be because they're self-employed and don't have two years tax returns. Uh, there might be new immigrants into the country. Uh, they might have some credit issues or been bankrupt in the past. Um, uh, another quite large one we had was, um, especially through the GFC, a lot of people who were full-time employees were all fired and then instantly rehired as casual employees. So um, even though they're on the same money and the same hours and everything was the same, now they're casually employed. The banks don't like that. You know, they can see that as you can being fired at any time. So it just made it a little bit harder for people to then go and get that that home loan. Uh, they may have had to put down a bigger deposit or whatever the case may be. So there's a lot of people out there who can't get a bank loan, um, but just would love to get into into the system. Now, typically, when you're selling a property uh, using a lease option, the, the person who's coming in to buy the property from you or lease lease option the property from you is going to give you a small option fee. So this is very similar to like a deposit. Typically, it's about three to five percent of the value of a property. So remember, we're not uh, catering to someone who's got that twenty percent deposit. We've, we're, we're after the market that doesn't. Uh, apply for traditional uh, finance for whatever reason. That might be just simply they don't have that 20% deposit. So a $500,000 house, you're going to get roughly fifteen dollars to $25,000 up front from the buyer coming in.